Hello everyone, today I want to share with you a wild mech hunter deck that is very powerful and budget friendly. This deck is a super aggressive mechanical monster. It is full with mech minions that you want to discount with mech warper and galvanizer. Hunter's hero power also fits this type of deck really good. The biggest issue with this deck is, or should I say was, running out of steam. But now, between Cybertech Chip, Ursatrons and Jeeves, this problem should be resolved. Question I often encounter for this deck is why no Leroy? I consider War Gears to be our Leroy's because Magnetic Mechanic acts as charge if you can use it on existing minion, and most of the time that will be possible. I like to use Magnetic Minions on Mech Warper and Jeeves to boost their health so they are much harder to kill and of course on Explodinator's bombs. Best cards for Mulligan are Mecharu, Galvanizer, Mech Warper and Metal Tooth Leaper. And with all of that said, let's play the game! Alright, let's play Wild Mech Hunter. So, Gul'dan will be our opponent. Let's see here. Let's reroll all three cards. What you always want is a Mech Warper and a Galvanizer. So we have a Galvanizer, that's great. Okay, nothing really to drop on the first turn. But we will be able to discount our Max. Let's see. Leper Gnome. Okay then. This will be interesting. Let's play our Galvanizer. There we go. Even the Jeeves is only 3 mana. So we can play these cards quite uh, fast. Darkshire Councilman. Coined. Alright. So... Well, let's see here, we can play Mech Warper, but I'm not really sure if I want to play it right now, like maybe one more turn, maybe one more turn until the Mech Warper, mm -hmm. so it would be a straightforward turn if I just, but cannot use 3 mana, right? Can only use two, so let's play it after all, huh? Let's do it and let's go for the metal tooth leaper now. And what we can do is hurt the council man. So there we go. We will probably lose the mech warper as well, unless he decides to go face. Alright, he is very focused on uh, attacking the face. Alright, let's see what we can do. Let's... Uh, well, the Jeeves is going to help him at this point more. But still going to play it. So... Uh, probably best just to use... Spider Bomb. There we go, let's play the Jeeves, let's play the Metal Tooth Leaper. Okay, that's great. Uh, let's kill the Councilman and then we'll, we will be quite safe. And let's get a couple of cards from the Jeeves. Great. This is really good hand. We have the Cybertech chip now. Probably the Jeeves is going to give him as well a few cards there. Yep, one card for him. Let's see what we can play. S since we have Jeeves out, it's probably best to use two cards. And for that reason, let's play Ursa and Cybertech. So we get one card there from the Jeeves. Let's trade efficiently. Okay then. We should not have a problem with uh, cards now. 
with the amount of cuts we have because of the Cybertech chip and uh, Jeeves replenished our hand a few times. We have a couple of magnetic minions there. So let's play our galvanizer. That makes Mechru even free of charge. So we have four remaining. Maybe play War Gear. So let's see. Uh, trade here and use uh, War Gear and enhance the Jeeps. Just go for the face. There we go. Quite a few one mana minions there, so I guess he plays maybe carpet and hobgoblin. Yeah, I think so. He didn't really draw them, but the hellfire is strange. And he has a soul fire as well. That's great. And he had abyssal enforcer there. Quite interesting stuff, have to say. Let's play the Explodinator and let's see, maybe play a upgradable frame bot and the Eternium Rod, for example. Okay, we have three minions with Magnetic here and Magnetic becomes Charge, so uh, Probably going to win the next turn if it even comes to that. So it was rather easy. Right, let's go and play another one. Alright, the second game is on the way. Our opponent will be priest this time. Let's see our starting hand. Okay, so against the priest, I guess the this death rattle with a spider bomb possess is not bad right it can work so let's keep it okay so uh i am of course expecting a big priest to be our opponent let's see here he has the coin Here comes the Mech Warper as well. Let's first of all play the Galvanizer. So there is a great discount going on right now. All right, replicating menace as well. Let's now play our full hand. Okay, that's great. And let's play Venova Venomizer on our Mech Warper. That's what will protect it from a shadow word horror and that is the most important card here let's see something is coming archmage vargot is coming he's just going to keep resurrecting it now so that is not good at all right let's see let's see we can play jeeves i would really like to play Jeeves here. And of course the spider bomb, but on what? On what should we play it? Like, I kill Vargot somehow, right? I certainly do that. And the Mech Warper should do the job. Okay, so here it is. And now let's give Spider Bomb to the Jeeves maybe? So he cannot die from uh, AoEs. We will need card replenishment. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen now. Resurrect, yeah. He's just going to spam Vargot now. That is... Insane. I know. Alright, so at this point let's just play a second mech warper, right? Everything becomes free. Let's 
heal our galvanizer so we can actually play minions, right? Okay, so let's see. Replicating menace can be played maybe here. Let's see, should I trade? How much damage do we even have here? This is 9, so uh, 13. And we can get 15 damage, 17. We cannot kill him for sure. So, um, let's kill both. Both Vargots. Right? Alright, have to think about this turn a little bit as you can see. Let's drop our last card there, so the Jeeves will be insane here. Three cards for us. Great. Okay, then killed like three Vargots so far as well. And we will win this. We win. Hell yeah. Where the opponent found? Time for a new game. Our opponent will be mage. Okay, we are meeting different classes. That's great. Let's see, war gear should be rerolled for sure. But these cards are not bad. Now, I'm just thinking about a Noyotron. Do I keep it? Probably yes. Because it is a great way to protect your mech warper, right? Alright, open the way gate. Quest mage. Alright, that can mean quite a few things actually. Let's not do anything this turn. But next turn we will certainly will. Here comes primordial, primordial glyph. Alright, spider bomb as well. Let's go with the mech warper immediately. Buff our mech warper so it's out of uh, Frostbolt's reach. And at this point we have one more card that we can play. I'm just thinking about Venomizer on the mech warper. That boosts its health, so it's really hard to kill now. With 3 mana you can't really kill something that has 6 health. It should not be possible. Right, so the discount will stay. Here comes the secret though. Alright, okay then. Let's attack, see what kind of stuff that is. Okay, don't know yet. Let's play Explodinator. And let's go. Let's go face. Okay then. We have a nice way to discount now. We just need our cards that draw more. Like a Cybertech chip. Like Ursa's and the Jeeves of course. He was quite useful in the last few games. Oh so this is a Flame Waker stuff here comes here comes the jeeves i'm very glad i see the jeeves here i have to say let's see what we can do now i'm killing the flame waker for sure right okay so let's play don't know what kind of secret he has yet, right? Let's play Annoyo. And let's play the Jeeves now. And of course, let's kill this one. I am expecting a duplicate now, no? Okay, alright. We get one additional card. And these cards are so cheap, if he cannot kill... The mech warper now he will be in trouble. Oh no. Missiles. Yeah, that's great. That's that's uh, exactly what I would like to have. <laughs> exactly. 
Oh my god, and we have a insane god incoming. Well, alright, let's unload our hand. Basically, that's what we are doing now. Here it comes. There we go, Jeeves is now going to work hard. Here comes the Zilliax and the Replicating Menace. Three magnetic minions out there. Here comes Apprentice. Oh, we get more cards. Okay, yeah, probably he is going to play a second Flame Waker, right? And a few of the cheap ones. No? Well, that's great. We can certainly kill him, but I guess the ice block can be can be a thing, right? Let's see. Let's attack and reduce his health to one. He has a duplicate now. Oh, that's interesting, right? That's interesting. It is the ice block, yes. All right, let's see what we can actually do here. Um, let's use tons of magnetic stuff, all right? There we go, magnetic. Okay, there we go. We will have some kind of a field. Even if he clears everything with a powerful AoE. But we can finish this game with a steady shot as well. If he just freezes everything. Yeah, but I don't like the fact he has two sorcerers apprentices. That's uh, a bit broken. Can be broken, really. Let's see. He might be able to finish the quest now. It is just two out of six though. I'm not sure if if it will happen. More cards. Oh no. So three out of six. This will be even four now. So many cheap spells. Zero mana even. Yeah, he will do the quest, but he cannot really play the quest. It still has a cost. Right. He still needs 3 mana to play it. Oh no, a secret. But it will not be ice block. So there we go. We will win this game as well. Great few games there, guys. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it was fun and informative. If you like fast games, Wild Mech Hunter might be a deck for you. Stay tuned for more Hearthstone content. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you soon.